kind of what we're calling it. And I like this one. Let's start with the Texas Longhorns. Um, Tom, we'll tee you up first, just in terms of where they're standing with some of these guys recruiting wise. And then Drew, you and I will get a little bit into the scouting side, but past three finishes for the Longhorns and Steve Sarkeesian, six last year in 2024, third in 2023, fifth in 2022. I mean, I don't know if I had that expectation for Steve Sarkeesian when they hired him, but uh, he has been able to back it up on the recruiting trail. The guys that we are looking at entertaining for the Longhorns and you know, I think would be the cherry on top uh, for this currently ranked number 17 class. It's really tough because you can't just lock yourself in the film room anymore. You have to really be in tune with what is going on with your players and how they're feeling, how what they're thinking and what their next moves are. So it has to be more of a CEO approach than necessarily a guy who's watching film all day. You got to really be in tune to what's going on in your locker room. Cortland Guillory, six foot one, 170 pound defensive back from Klein Oak High School in Houston, Texas, is one of the top defensive backs in the state, if not the nation. He's everything you want in a defensive back prospect in today's day and age of college football. Already cemented as one of the top players in Houston, several of the nation's best are after Guillory as he holds offers from Oklahoma, Tennessee, Texas, and Texas A&M, amongst a dozen others. And with a summer commitment in mind, Guillory's recruitment will be one of the most intriguing storylines to cover this offseason. You want a handshake, bro? I love it. Why are you it's looking? Sweaty. You're sweaty too. No. I got my two little sisters right here. We all getting it in. My little sister Layla with the purple, she run track. And little Emily right here, she a gymnast. But she gonna run track too, most likely. You even doing it harder, you doing the harder one. Good job, you doing the harder one, you act like you can't do it. Right, hey, speak to the cam, right wave to the cam. My little sister's in the cut. My little sister's in the cut, we all getting that work in. I'm hopping straight off the plane, straight from Florida off the plane to the camp, to the UA camp. Got to, I'm a, I want to show my, show my skills some more, show everybody what I can do. Some people, we got non-believers, so I'm going to make everybody a believer. I'm like the 36th corner in the nation, or four-star 36th corner in the nation, but that ain't good enough. I ain't scared of nobody. We line it up. They put on their pants, how I put on my pants. That, that your name, your stars, and none of that matter. When I line up in front of you, all that go away. It's just me and you. Ain't none of that stars, ain't none of your name. We gonna see, we gonna see what that really mean when we line it up. At least you know. My pops, I, I know, he ain't even my real pops in the fact that he still up in my life, that means like a lot to me. Cause he ain't had to. And without, without him, I wouldn't be the player nor the man I am today, so. Shout out, to, shout out to Pops for sure. Having that support is like, I mean, a lot got my mama, but to have a Pops that also really care, and he played collegiate as well, so he know what he talking about. And he, he, he like good motivation, and he a good mouth to, to hear from for sure. Into his sophomore year. Into his sophomore year, but before that, it was all of, it was really us, like, hey, time to go work out, let's go work out. Hey, you got this, you got that. Every day, we working out, we working out every day. You know what I'm saying? But. His 10, his 10 grade year towards the middle end of his 10 grade year, he started clicking. We hit him up, hit him up like, hey, where you at? Oh, I'm at Bowie. Cause that's what I'm worth. Show me the finish, I'm getting a first. Show me the best and that's me and my worst. He started with him in and he started going to put that work in. Then all of a sudden, boom. Like, right after that, we went on a visit to Tennessee. After visiting Tennessee, they offered him. I ain't gonna lie, we started rolling in. I talked to my coach, bro. Me and Yellow Baby right here, we going both ways, both sides of the ball, bro. So stop hating. And I'm snagging on folks. Remember, remember my words. I'm snagging on folks. Remember my words. I ain't tripping. Yeah, even though this is my biggest hater, but my no. yes, yeah, my biggest supporter. hater. No. It's my boy Yellow Baby, KC. Hey, I'm on that one side. My boy on that other side.
another thing that makes Guillory so special is the tenacity and aggressiveness he plays with. It's rare that you see a high school corner want to come off blocks and defend the run, but Guillory's highlight tape is full of deep leading tackles along with a plethora of pass breakups. Right, you gotta stay focused. Like Being on Twitter, you're gonna see people that's like, they doing what you trying to do and you, you working to get to that, but you just gotta block that out. Everybody going, they same, they, they different path. Everybody journey different. Well, one man, one man might do this, but your, your journey can end up a different route. That's how I feel. And you got for sure, you got to bet on yourself, and you got to want it. Your parents can't want it more than you. Your coaches don't can't want it more than you. You got to want it, cause they can't wake up. They can't wake up and train for you. You got to put in that work yourself for sure. <laughs> Bro, I don't, know, I don't know why they playing with me, bro. But it's cool. Cause I'm finna go to this camp in front of these three, four, five stars, whoever they want to rain, we gonna see when we line it up cause I ain't doing no tripping. I ain't needing no stars to get where I'm at right now. So it's just something you can be like, yeah, I'm this. But it don't matter when you line it up. <laughs> A lot of the thing a lot of people don't understand when you start getting the stars, that's when the, the light the, the light really shines on. That's when the attention comes to you. So now it's honestly just getting used to being in this position. Cause last year he was a nobody. You know what I'm saying? Last year nobody knew who he was, anything like that. Now it's a totally different situation. Everywhere you go, it's a camera in your face, and you just gotta get comfortable with just talking to the media. Be comfortable interacting with everybody. Be comfortable with having that target on your back, and be comfortable with knowing that every time I line up, I got something to prove. Ready? Told you. Told you. I'm really a wide eye, bro. I get a whole mixtape off. Off releases, cooking. And me like, you let me get, get too much space. You keep backing up. I keep going, going, but you backing up, backing up. Stick my ass. I keep going up, you back up. Just put your hand. Got to go on DB. See good shit right there. Come on, run it back. Run it back. Is she 11? I know you got some bad. Hell yeah. Hey, yeah. Right, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Let's go. Trap booming on me, trap booming on three. One, two, three. Trap booming. We're going out of town tomorrow. We we on the way to Central Florida. We ain't starting tomorrow. Orlando, we in Orlando tomorrow. For sure. See what UCF talking about. Then we're going to fade Disney World with the fam. Right off the plane, we straight to the UA camp. Straight off the plane. And then the following weekend, we going to UT. Then the next week after that, we at UT. Oh, bro, real life grind. Trying to get this money. So. Man, UT. Austin, we on the way. Coming to you soon. What's the drip calm, like? Calm, pack sun. I, I can't chill today. I ain't want to do too much. Mm -hmm. Came, pack sun, routine. I can take on the pads. Come easy. Calm. Calm, the Nike bag. I see, I see you got it on. Though. You got it. Yeah, right, sure. I'm trying to match the drip, man. Boys. Yeah, how the tattoo healing up though? as much. You doubling up on the sleeve or just one? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. It hurt too bad. I don't even know if I wanna do it no more. Then we talked about it earlier, like UT being one of your dream schools. Yeah, it's crazy. So it's gonna be really a dream come true. I get to meet Coach Sark, see what the head coach talking about, see what the staff talking about, see how much they like me. And it's really a blessing to be able to go to UT. And I'm excited to see what they talking about.
this to us down in Austin. You can see what UT talking about. I mean, I, I got a lot going on, but I ain't doing no tripping. I just, I'm just doing what it takes. At the next level, that's, that, that is what it is. It's going to take a lot. All right, I got, I got Jace. If you know, you know. I'm going to go no order. I'm going to go no order. Jace. I got Huncho too, Huncho hard, Rod hard, Rod Ray, Cole Santana, y'all ain't gonna know. That's an underground. And now I got Jay Reaper, that's it. That's my five. Oreos, Oreos go crazy. I gotta have some Oreos. Got the black ones, the gold ones. Both of them hit. Don't know which one. Yeah, Oreos is, they be smack. Gotta have some Oreos. Court, Hi, how are you? Kendall, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Court, what up, nice man? Michael, pleasure to meet you, Court. Yes, sir. Perfect, so we'll get started on everything. How was the drive-in? We're so glad you're here. And I've been the one blowing up the phone. I appreciate you. I'm doing great. How are you? Good morning, y'all. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. 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 Yes, here you go. Lisa, thank you. And then I have just a few questions for y'all to fill out over here. And then are y'all- You wanna be in there for that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. We'll start from the start. Yeah, and then we'll go over to that special teams meeting. Who did the driving for us? Yeah. It's time for Coach Sark. I'll get y'all to all go. And then from there, we'll go over football. Hey, so look, we gonna go do the meeting. Cursive. I'm like, <laughs> y'all gotta at least learn your, your signature, you know? That's what's do what he loves and have fun doing it. Uh, he's been doing it since he was about five, six years old. And now it's all coming to life. And of course, having a great, you know, male figure in his life like Venerius is so important. They got to pimp that uh, golf court. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah, you rolling the style, man. Yeah. I like, I like that. You like that? They got a little Bluetooth on it. Yeah. He was number nine? Yes. Who was on the whole team? Team me? It's funny that you know that they came out four years ago.
about the overall practice today man it was loud i'm messing with the vibe of ut i ain't gonna lie then i got another i got an official visit so i'm gonna be back yeah i ain't gonna lie i'm messing with the vibe coach sark was cool they db coaches was cool i'm rocking with ut for sure i mean i got to see they dbs and you know i get to compare it to myself a little bit and i feel like i definitely can come in and compete and compete to, to play for sure I feel like it won't be that hard to to fit in with the program. All right, so everything that we do is about developing great habits, right? So every drill that we do is about developing great habits. Everything that we do is about developing great habits. Right? So every drill that we do is about developing great habits. First school, my bad. First school, first academics, the second football. <laughs> uh, that's a good question. No, we usually do it, um, I guess it's in the season. You got a couple guys over here as well. I mean, you got all the in-state guys right here to make it easier for you to look at. <laughs> you probably know some of them already. Um, Xavier Flosami. Heavy, heavy indeed. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Oh, all these dunking videos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> dunking videos, South Lake. Mm -hmm. The Soto, yeah, the Fort Worth area right here. Amazing, and the interns. Yes, sir. Yeah. The Waco, oh, yeah. Who from Houston? Yeah. David Bender, our linebacker. Uh, mine doesn't say Spring, Texas. If I can, it is say it uh, says Spring. Want to say Houston? I don't think. First level right here. So Coach Stark's office is right there. This is his office as well. Obviously, you see the hooking right there. You see the outside of it. Yeah, yeah. We were out there earlier today. That's right across where we just got the tents and everything you can include. Um, okay. Coach Slot. Um, Coach, but too cool. Man, yeah, locked in. Too cool. Yeah, his hair. Locked in. Yeah. <laughs> on the right, you got the Kobe court right here, too. Like, take a picture of that. I, think that, that. I know you guys probably seen all the courts around our facility. So now we're heading downstairs. So, what you guys just know is upstairs. Well, that's the time for the games and everything. Okay. Hit this field. They want to get it now. Two is right here. Yeah, they walk out and they tap this and they walk out. All guys know breaks. Me, not me. Yes, sir. You gotta do it, man. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Yes, sir. <laughs> All the players do that and they walk out. Yeah. Three goes a day here, so you can go to take any times you want to make five You see the guys in four or five big boxes down and everything, so. Yes, sir. I wanted to see this recovery area. Yes, sir. Yep. So we walk right here. This is the hydrotherapy room right here. Watch your step. Watch your step. Sorry, I just finished. Sorry. So this right here is recovery room right here. On the left side, that's your that's your drive through car wash. To so the left of us is our training room. There's a lot of here as well. You can get you come get a massage, say, ah, my arm's a little tight. Can you massage for me? It'll come get you right. All kinds of anything you want. Literally you can think of the body right here. What do you call those things you wrap around your legs for? Um, oh, pre -pre 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 yep, we have those two. Hook up the TV and everything, whatnot. What's this right here? This right here. So you you have a life outside of football too, right? Mm -hmm. So like we don't want to hold you as much. We don't want to hold you any longer than we need to, right? Because you got other things you got to want to do. You have school as well. You got friends yourself. So we coaches give you 
everything you need to do within that time frame. Morning, you locked in from six to twelve. After that, go have fun, do what you got to do. Um, a lot of our players use it. Like um, after the Thursday practice, Xavier for the semi, uh, he used it. Coaches and guys use it. Strength and conditioning coaches yeah. use it a lot. Um, <laughs> even after. Um, and so you hit this start button right here. Close it. <laughs> a lot of the coaches use this. Coach Banks uses this a lot. Right here, so he's a lot of our guys for um, community service, um, career development. Oh, so he wants to you know, try out internships or something like that. That might have Okay. Yes, sir. That ones with the little socks right here. Them the top three hardest ones for sure. Yeah. I ain't going to lie me, please. Nah, bro. <laughs> to the left, barbershop. So say you have a barber, right? You want to hit him up, say, hey, yo, I need a cut. You walk him down here, barber, you look at a cut. <laughs> yep. All the guys who cut up, like, on Thursdays and Fridays. Yep. Take, take a picture, send it to show up, baby. Yeah. Yeah. You got to take a picture in that chair, man. This is your home as much as ours, so you can do this anytime you want. Anytime you want. <laughs> Oh, no. 63 to 22. Nah, that's not fun to You play it every day. Each player inside a locker. Each locker is $8,700. Comes with a TV. On the rack. Pull this out. Shoulder pads, obviously. The helmet goes right here. This little ventilation thing keeps the helmet kind of cool for you guys when it's charging. When it's not charging, when it's um, sitting down. Um, gloves go right here. Usually during game day, all the stuff will be set up. The jersey and pants will be on for you, so all you have to do is just show up. Said NFL. Oh yeah, for real. That's the goal right there. Yeah, you ain't trying to do that then. Yeah, if you ain't trying to go down, then we ain't. What we here for? <laughs> it's good. So there's no kinds of shortcuts or cheat codes in this. You know, you're not getting by with that. They're watching everything, so it's pretty cool. All the Texas branding stuff. So all this is new as well. Hot. You looking at right now? So I see they something like. They calculate your miles per hour and calculate it to a 40 time. That's pretty loud. That's by accuracy. They got it in there for you. On the right side, you would check in and wait. You gotta love this. Date when you plan on making a decision, but I'm thinking like before my senior season. How's that Man. feel? Surreal, that's the best word. Surreal because just to see all the hard work you put in, you know what I'm saying? Pay off type stuff. It is, I mean, it'd be crazy, man. Definitely be crazy. If he was to, if he was to come here, like actually just seeing him on the field, like. I'm a crybaby, so I ain't no silly. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm a crybaby.